Welcome to our hometown, Bell, West Virginia. From our coal companies to our salt mines, we are a very historical area and part of America's history. We are also within a 10 minute drive to our state capital. We have the Kanawha River on one side and the beautiful West Virginia Hills on the other. Years ago, we were a thriving, bustling little town. We sit along the Route 60 and the Appalachian Midland Trail corridor. People traveling from near and far had to travel this route. Our storefronts are located on one side of the street and the train tracks are on the other. We had grocery stores, barber shops, eating places, and all the storefronts were full and thriving. Then came the interstate and a new four lane Route 60. Even though you can see our main street from the new highway, you have to exit to come into town. Since the city of Charleston is so close, people started bypassing us. Our small shops started closing and the storefronts now stand bare and unkept. It is so sad and depressing. Since the loss of the tax revenues, the town just doesn't have the funds for any major beautification projects. We still believe in our city of dreams. Build it and they will come. HGTV can help make it happen. We hope you will give our little town a chance to shine again and to help us in revitalizing our village. We believe with your help, small shops will reopen, recreational venues can happen, and our hometown can come back to life. We also have three major building supply stores and a regional airport within a 15 mile radius for your convenience. We understand there are thousands of areas just like ours that need your help and we appreciate your time and consideration and truly hope you choose Bell, West Virginia as your next makeover destination. Hi, I'm David Fletcher. I'm the mayor in Bell, West Virginia and uh, would like to uh, just talk to you a little bit about the history of the town of Bell. Uh, Bell at the present time has about 1,300 uh, citizens in the town of Bell. Uh, two major industries here is a uh, Walker Machinery Caterpillar dealership here in Bell that's actually physically located inside the town limits. And right directly outside is the Kimors plant. Uh, employs about 250 employees or so. Uh, inside the plant also is a company called Optima Chemical. Uh, we have another chemical company that just started January 1st called Bell Chemical Company uh, from a company called Cornerstone out of New Orleans. And the third one is Correja. And uh, so we're pretty excited to be located here within the uh, town limits of these uh, employers. Uh, it is a, a pretty good size uh, economic impact to the town of Bell. Uh, the town of Bell itself, uh, has about uh, eight or 10 businesses. Uh, the thing is at one time back in the 30s and 40s, and just to give you a little relation of uh, the old Kimors plant, which was the old DuPont plant here, at one time employed 4,000 employees, uh, now employs, like I said, about 250. And uh, at one time we probably had 2,500 citizens and we're down to about 1,300. Uh, We've heard a lot about people moving out of the area and moving out of West Virginia. And so we're, we're glad to be able to possibly see about a makeover of Bell, West Virginia. Uh, redoing some of the buildings in Bell. Uh, we have about 15 to 20 uh, uh, buildings and houses that do need to be torn down, dilapidated structures. Uh, and then we have probably another 20 or so that could use some uh, revitalization of which hopefully we could use this grant for. And we also, uh, uh, the citizens and the uh, townspeople have gotten together to uh, try to uh, see about getting this grant. Uh, we're pretty excited about it and uh, pretty excited uh, for what the town maybe has to offer. Uh, with the uh, police officers we have here, with the garbage department, uh, we have a new sanitation department uh, that was just completed this past year. 
And uh, so there's a lot of good things happening in Bell and, and a lot of uh, good people working here in the town of Bell, not only on city council, but also volunteering to make sure that this uh, grant uh, is, is at least submitted and a uh, possibility if we can get it, it would be great for the town. Uh, we want to thank you for uh, your consideration and we appreciate it and uh, we will talk to you later and if you ever get into Bell West, Bell West Virginia, please stop and see us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Connie and I've lived in the Bell West Virginia area for over 40 years. Stagecoaches used to run along our main street bringing travelers from Virginia. Wagons were used to transport supplies and barges ran up and down the Canal River. Bell offered the travelers a place to stop. There originally was a stagecoach, stop, a general store, post office, saloon, and boarding houses. There are still several houses standing today from long ago. We're here now in front of the Samuel Shrewsbury House, better known around here as the Old Stone House. It's on one of the oldest homes still standing in the Bell area. Built around 1810 by revolutionary soldier Samuel Shrewsbury, it was built on over 700 acres of land that were received from Colonel John Dickinson, a prominent businessman and property owner. We are proud of our history and what great things have come from our little community and its people and the contributions and sacrifices that were made to help build our great country. Hopefully, HGTV Hometown Makeover will agree and will make Bell West Virginia its destination point for the 2021 Hometown Makeover. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.